Hello to one and all. In the today's session, let us see how to create a measure table within a Power BI dashboard. Say for example, you are having n number of data tables in your Power BI dashboard and you are having at least like 50 to 100 different DAX calculations and you want to create the same in your Power BI dashboard. So, as per the Microsoft standards, it is recommended for us to create a separate table altogether that populates all the DAX calculations within the Power BI dashboard. Say, for example, you are creating a separate DAX calculation into the different data tables. It will be confusing or messy, right? So, in order to avoid that, let us create another table consisting of only the DAX measures. So, this is basically a very powerful, powerful pro tip as I find during the report development and of course it is really very essential whenever you are presenting some important data. Say for example, I have just now launched a Power BI report that is based on a sample financial information or else a revenue based data. Here we have various data with respect to the customers, with respect to the products, with respect to the regions, with respect to the sales or transaction data and so on. We have various budget oriented information, budget weightings information, the customer information and the dates table. We have the products table consisting of various product information. We have the locational data and we have the transactional data called as sales. Say for example, you would like to create DAX calculations and for the same. In order to do that, what we recommend is to create a separate table itself consisting of only DAX calculations. Let me, let me name this table as main measures or else the key measures. Having naming my table, let me load the table. By doing so, I get a table consisting of column 1 by default. Now, let us create one or two DAX measures. Let me create my first DAX measures as total orders which is equivalent to the sum of order quantity from the transaction table sales. And let me format it accordingly. Let me create another tax measure just for the purpose of flexibility and name it as total revenue which is equivalent to sum of total revenue from sales table, sales transaction table and let me format this as dollars. So now we have the main measures data table consisting of two measures that is total orders and total revenue. But we have something called as column. What I would suggest is you to delete this particular column one from this data table or either apart from delete, you can either hide that particular column. But I recommend to delete, delete it from the table. By doing so, You get all you get a separate entity or else a data table itself consisting of only DAX calculations. With respect to your report development, you whenever you come across creating various DAX measures, this table keeps on growing with, with respect to various DAX calculations. So this is a very powerful pro tip, guys. Say for example, if at all you are presenting this to your top level management or else to various or, or else to your colleague or else to your managers or else to the end users this is definitely very very helpful as it not only helps us to keep the report more readable rather it is extremely organized right okay guys okay guys hope you enjoyed the lecture uh, let us see in the next session till then happy analyzing thank you very much guys have a nice day